So this is approximately when it's uh, when it's starting, and it uh, it goes from uh, um, obviously a lot smaller fire uh, to a point where it's fully engulfed. Yeah. And uh, uh, there's in this video we can see we can see shadows and we can see movement, but we don't have anything any uh, any video that'll identify the suspects. Uh, what we're hoping is, is that uh, somebody in the public will see the relationship of their height, um, you know, and, uh, and given the time at 3.45 in the morning if it's kids, um, and, and you know your kids or you know your neighbor or kids were out, you know, late, at, late in the morning, uh, we're just looking for any, any type of tip that would uh, help us identify, um, you know, who set the fire and uh, who set the fires and uh, in this case it looks like you know uh, potentially caucasian um, and it's hard to tell male female it's hard to tell on the age um, and it looks like they're wearing shorts um, and uh, you know lighter maybe maybe a, a hoodie uh, and maybe a, a darker hoodie so it's but um, that's kind of what we have to work for, and hopefully, with the video of them actually walking, it'll it'll key somebody in on on uh, who it might be. So this video, uh, you know, I, I'm comparing the two videos, and uh, and and this one, it just may have different lighting. It could be the same clothes, but in this one, it looks like there the shorts look darker, and that he's got a, a darker type maybe hoodie on, um, you can see that he has a backpack or has some type of bag on his, on his back. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then it also looks like there's, there's periods here where it, it looks like maybe they're wearing a, a white mask or have something pulled over their face. But again, at the distance, it's hard to tell. And can you describe, uh, where this camera is in relation to the, the fire scene? Yeah, this is the, uh, basically it's the covered area. And uh, uh, this got picnic tables, and it's—I uh, mean, it's right—it's right next to the play structure.